the person serving as the interim speaker of the house until a uh, replacement for kevin mccarthy can be selected by house republicans is named patrick mchenry and he did something in such bad taste that even a fox news host had to admit it a fox news host harris faulkner condemned him for this needlessly for lack of a better term rude act and insensitive act so first, here's what is being reported, then we'll look at Harris Faulkner's reaction. Former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and former Democratic leader Steny Hoyer were ordered to move out of their hideaway offices in the Capitol on Tuesday. The email asked Pelosi staff to vacate the space tomorrow, at which point the locks to the office will be changed according to a copy viewed by Axios. And listen to this. Pelosi, while this is happening, was in San Francisco on Tuesday for the funeral, the funeral of the late Senator Dianne Feinstein. So the priority of Patrick McHenry, apparently top priority, it just happened, he just became interim speaker, and this is what he's up to, is to remove from her office someone who is memorializing her now late friend. And if that's not in bad taste, if that's not insensitive and just... A bizarre reflection of his priorities i don't know what is now to give you the specifics one more thing before playing this clip it's tradition that former leaders will keep their what they call hideaway offices in the capitol building and then across the street all of the house members have offices but they get these kind of uh nice spot offices really admired places within the capitol building because they're former leaders as Speaker of the House. Now she's former Speaker of the House. She keeps this office. And so does Denny Hoyer, former majority leader when Democrats had the majority. And so he's contradicting that tradition in the interest of getting a jab into Nancy Pelosi so that the Speaker can take over those offices, I assume, and is doing so while she's at a funeral. And here's Harris Faulkner's reaction. Less time. Like no one communicated what day one after the vote was going to look like because it was always going to look like it's up to Patrick McHenry. And by the way, one of the things he did comes across as now rather that's... petty. I mean, rather than waiting for Nancy Pelosi or somebody to come back, he takes her office while she's memorializing Dianne Feinstein. Like, are, are you all talking? Because that's not who you are, Congressman Biggs. That's yeah. not who any of these eight are. That's exactly who they are. That is 100% who they are, and that's what Harris Faulkner needs to understand. Um, it is just so emblematic of the flawed priorities, of the low character of people such as Patrick McHenry, when that's the initiative that's first on the list of things to do on the part of McHenry. And it is, again, going against kind of what they traditionally do for former leaders. And while she's memorializing her late friend, and yet again, as is the theme of the aftermath of the ouster of Kevin McCarthy, it is a reflection of unserious governance. It's about owning the libs, jabbing those that you hate politically, not actually getting to work on things, which there are plenty of things as the now Speaker of the House in, an, in the interim for uh, Patrick McHenry that need to get done should be done to govern it's not about that it's about these shows of like she said petty jabs and attacks against someone that the base hates nancy pelosi really really vile thank you so much for watching if you want to be a part of what makes this show possible plus get access to the full video version of the show and get a bonus show on the weekends you can do so by going to lukebeasleyshow.com membership that's lukebeasleyshow.com membership and there's a link in the description